been tripping on this for a while because I feel like all of the iPhones actually bring something to the table, either in price, design, functionality, that kind of thing. For price, I see myself getting the iPhone SE because it's got a really good camera for a very low budget price. And of course, like the battery also lasts for as long as I would need it. I'm not a vlogger. I don't necessarily have to be outdoors, so I don't have to panic too much when it comes to battery life. It's something that I can always in between my filming breaks I can just plug my phone in and then we're ready to go again. Also the camera is really really good. It captures such vivid images. I saw an I Justine video that she made about it and I was appreciating how awesome the quality was of the iPhone SE. If I were to go for the iPhone SE it's kind of like also a plus because instead of just getting maybe one phone could get two. One could be like specifically for taking videos and pictures and content creation in general. And then the second one could be the one that I actually take along with me if I need to use a phone to make calls, to do email on, etc. Alternatively, there's also the iPhone 11 and they're both kind of like in the same price range-ish. And I like the iPhone 11 because it does have like a bigger screen. So if I'm filming myself, I like being able to see myself on the screen. And if the screen is going to be too tiny, then I can't really see a lot of what I'm filming. But maybe it's a decision between instead of getting one or the other, just get both for like different functionalities and maybe even see which one works better for which setting because I could be pleasantly surprised to find that the iPhone SE is not that small after all. So decisions, decisions. And then there's the iPhone 13. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is a great phone. And it also comes in white. Actually, all of them come in white. The iPhone 13 is actually a really good phone when it comes to performance and functionality. So maybe is pretty expensive. And now the question that comes along with that is, do I spend that much money on the iPhone 13 or do I just wait for the iPhone 14 to launch so it's a lot of questions and a lot of decisions to make let me know in the comment section if you have any of these phones if you would recommend any of them and what your experience is with them